Let's talk a little bit about different types of uh, functions and their properties. If I say that f is a function from a to b, I'm meaning that I have a domain a and a codomain b, and for every element of a, I've associated it with a unique thing on the right in b. So all I know about the function, the only thing I know is that for every single thing on the left, I have exactly one arrow going to the right. And so I'm going to talk about the different types of functions by th thinking about what happens with these arrows. And the first thing to think about is an injective function. For an injective function, I have this property because I'm a function that everything on the left has exactly one arrow going out of it. However, I do also have the property for in an injective is that everything on the right has at most one arrow coming into it. That's one, one way to think about it is that if I have two distinct elements of my domain, they are mapped to distinct outputs in the codomain. So the idea is I have at most one incoming arrow for everything on the right. When a function is not injective, it, do, it fails to have this property. That means that there are two distinct elements that, go, that are mapped to the same output. For instance, in this example, I have a2 and a3 are distinct inputs, distinct elements of the domain, and they are sent to the same output. Now keep in mind that there's a difference between a universal and an existential quantifier. For injective, if I take any two distinct pairs, I will get two distinct outputs. But for non-injective, I just need to show there exists one pair that are distinct inputs that go to the same output. I could have two distinct inputs like this that go to distinct outputs, but I just need one example of two things going to the same element for being not injective. If I want to say that a function is surjective, what that means is that it's onto. It means that every, for every element of the codomain, there's at least one thing that is mapped to that element. One other way to think about it is I have at least one incoming arrow at every element of my codomain. I could have more than one, but I have at least one is for sure. If I'm not surjective, what it means is that I have some element, little b, inside my codomain that is never hit by any of my uh, f function outputs. One way to think about it is that it's an element that's not in my range. So if everything from A is mapped to the function, it goes into a smaller set than B, not all of B, then I don't have a surjective function. Now I can have any combination of being injective or surjective, or not injective, surjective, not injective, not surjective, or injective and not surjective. But when I'm both injective and surjective, that means that I'm bijective. 